Hey guys, this is Claudia here from the Bookkeeping Experts, back for more, one more week of education. And today we're going to talk about our most popular subject, which is square integration, uh, when things doesn't go right. <laughs> okay, so um, I have a lot of clients that have restaurants, and one thing that happens is that sometimes you have a batch of transactions with you know credit card transactions that may have cash mixed with credit card maybe a client pay a tip with cash or uh, maybe you know we split the bill and somebody paid with cash somebody paid with credit card so what happens is that when that batch comes through QuickBooks online uh, it's gonna reflect that a portion of that deposit is cash and obviously it's not going to be deposited at the same time so how do you how do you add that and how do you match that in books in in the bank because obviously when you send it over from the app transaction the amount is going to be off so it's not going to match right away so we're going to talk about that today and show you how to um, how to have a workaround so that you can accept that transaction in QuickBooks Online. Okay, all right. So without much much further for, further ado, let's go <laughs> straight to work. All right, gonna go into our slideshow. And all right, okay, so square transaction mis mixed credit card and cash deposit. How to max how well, I can't talk, <laughs> how to match in QuickBooks Online. All right, so as you know, in order to get to um, in order to work with square transactions. Uh, Square app, you, you're going to go ahead and on the left-hand side menu, click on banking and then click on app transaction. There is a workflow for for this and you always need to add the transaction first. But before you add, you, you need to find out what's going on with that transaction and if there is any cash, you need to be aware so that you know what is the difference and where to send the difference to because sometimes it could be a check Sometimes it could be a cash or um, it could be gift card as well. So that those are all things that can create a difference in the deposit. Okay, so this is the page. This is the app transaction. So that's the workflow. We go straight to the app transaction. We find the transaction and we're going to go to the second one. And in order to view the details, you're going to click on the side uh in the arrow and we're going to click on view details okay so by viewing details we're going to see what's inside that the transaction now keep in mind that um for for 90 percent of my clients 99.9 <laughs> i'll say i recommend to send it as batch and the reason why I recommend it is so that we can match it in banking because if you send them individually, unless you have like uh, fewer in large transaction, I would say send it as batch because if not, it's going to drive you crazy. Um, there, you know, you have to find everything goes to undeposited funds and you have to find sometimes a hundred transactions to match into one deposit. So it's not recommended. Um, don't do it <laughs> and if you ever do it if you if you connected it as um, to send individual transaction the only way for you to fix it is to disconnect and connect it again but remember when you disconnect square you need to make sure you remove all the transactions from undeposited funds first and we talk about that on other videos so and then disconnect so that you're not going to be stuck with a bunch of transactions that you need to to delete afterwards okay all right so there you have it you're on on app transactions for review we're going to view details on this uh, on this transaction on this batch 
And this is what you're going to see um, in this transaction is what you need to know to be aware of what's going to happen on, on the banking. Okay, so it's going to tell you the total collected fees. So this is all good. But see where it says undeposit cash check. Okay, so this will create a difference. Okay, for whatever amount. Now, the, the transaction that I have in the future to be matched in, in banking is not the same. But in this transaction, the difference is $20. The one we're going to have is $9 and something. But that means that somebody in this big batch of transaction pay twenty dollars cash so in obviously this cash will not be deposit deposited uh together with the credit card transactions it's just the credit card transactions are going to be deposit minus the twenty dollars does that make sense so hopefully it does okay <laughs> we'll go to the next slide so so we added that transaction in the app right knowing that there will be a difference and like i said this is not the same transaction by the way okay but this this is kind of the same situation so when you go to the other side in banking so after we add in app transaction we're going to go back to banking we find the transaction and it's not matching it's not matching because there is that difference that 20 dollars difference so how are we going to fix that so we're going to go into the next slide. We're going to click on find a match. Okay, when you click on find a match, we'll go back one slide. So let's go back one slide. Okay, so see where it says find a match right here? Okay, this is what you're going to select. Okay, not categorize, find a match. Okay, then this is what you're going to see. And you want to click on this um, this little arrow where it says show all and you're going to select only deposits because you want to narrow it down if not especially if you have a bunch of undeposited funds it's it's you don't have to sort through thousands or hundreds of transactions okay so click on deposit and this is what you're going to see. You have a couple of deposits here. And we know that this is the, the second one is the one for that transaction in banking. And you see, like I said, this is a different transaction. It's not the same. But there is a difference of $9.12. And this one, I also verify the reason why there is a $9.12 is because somebody paid with the cash. So there is undeposit slash cash check payment, right? It's cash. <laughs> okay, happens a lot with restaurants uh, that accept tips and some people sometimes pay tips with cash and then that's that creates a problem. <laughs> All right, so uh, there you have it. So you see that there will be a difference. See this button that says resolve. We're going to go back here. It's gray out here. So you, you want to click on this resolve, just drag it to the other side. And this is what you're going to have. You're going to have a, a line where you can add to this deposit or solve the difference of this deposit. So you're going to, um, we call it cash deposit or cash customer. Um, and then I'll send it to cash on hand bank. So this is my cash on hand or, or petty cash, whatever you call it. That's where you manage your cash. So I'm sending this $9.12 into this cash account, okay? And go to the next screen and that's it. So by doing, after, let's go back here. After you add this transaction, we're actually matching and creating a, a, a transfer out of the checking account for $9.12. So when you reconcile the bank account, what you're going to see is actually uh, uh, $2,027.58 and the uh, bank statement is going to say $2,018.46, which is what actually was deposited. However, on the other side as payment, you will see a $9.12 um, payment, means taking out of that account, which makes up for the difference. So it, it equals by adding those two numbers, 
it is going to equal to what needs to be recorded. Okay. All right. Okay, this is it, folks. I hope this helps you uh, trying to figure out square matching. Now, uh, keep in mind, when you work with uh, in, um, integration, it's very important for you not to duplicate your transactions, okay? And it integration, even though we have some bumps on the road such as this, I still prefer to have integration by, you know, by 100% because... If you, if you just add the transactions, those transactions are net of sales, means that it doesn't have any of the um, sales tax information, doesn't have any tips, doesn't have any uh, fees, nothing. It's just going to have our gift card, nothing. It's just going to have whatever you receive uh, as far as credit card payments. So... When that happens, at, at the end of the year, you have to do a journal entry to account for all those differences. So you're you you know you're gonna do a journal entry and you're gonna debit uh, uh, the square fees, debit um, whatever you need to debit or whatever accounts, uh, sales tax, whatever it is, and then you're gonna credit sales because that's gonna go against sales. And it's going to increase the sales to be able to make up for those differences because that's basically um, uh, these these payments um, are taking away from your sales. So when you actually enter the sale, it's not the full sale. It's just the partial sale after all the, the discounts and the uh, ref, uh, fees and so on and so forth. Okay? Well... It is extremely important for you to understand the whole process because by understanding exactly what's going on on the back end, how this integration is working, you will know how to fix problems like this. So um, you know that with QuickBooks and the new integration with Square, the transactions are sent, but you still have to accept them. But I would recommend for you, especially for large batch transactions, to make sure you check those batch transactions for undeposited funds, which means cash payments and checks and gift cards and things like that. And then when you add, you will be aware that it's not going to match in banking. You have to find a match and you have to uh, make up for the difference. you got to resolve the difference and put that or put the money Sometimes it's shorter, so subtract or add the money into the proper account. So in this case, it's cash. So we're just saying to QuickBooks that part of this money actually is going to cash account. We haven't deposited to the bank yet. All right. So hopefully this was useful to you. Uh, hopefully, you know, I know that for many of you it's kind of frustrating because if you call QuickBooks, nobody's going to know exactly what's going to happen, what's hap going on. And if you call Square, they don't know either. <laughs> so with that being said, actually, the only people who actually know what's going on is the engineers. And guess what? The engineers QuickBooks in QuickBooks don't answer the phone calls. <laughs> so that's why I want to give you that information uh, to make your life easier. Uh, keep in mind that in order to be successful in your business, you need to understand your finances and being able to integrate your your um, your apps, your your payments into QuickBooks Online, your POS and and everything. It's it's very essential for your business, um, so that you can have a rely on reliable number at the end of the month. And you can compare and see what's going on with with your book, especially for restaurants right now. It is it's a it's very important for you because you want to know what's your cost of goods sold. How how is it impacting you? Your how is it impacting you? Your bottom line. You have to adjust your prices with you know eggs. That here in Florida we're paying five dollars a dozen, and I heard that in Puerto Rico it was seven dollars a dozen. That's crazy. Absolutely insane. So for those places who serve breakfast, knowing 
how this is impacting your bottom line, it's very important. So you got to stay on top of your finances. You got to know what's your percentage at the end of the day. Are you are you making it or do you have to adjust your prices or, you know, take a different approach into challenging times like that? Um, on top of the the cost of goods sold being so high, uh, the other challenge for restaurants is also the cost of labor. Now, not just for restaurants, but pretty much everyone, all retail service, right? The, this is a big challenge. So you, you need to make sure that your bottom line is healthy by, by keeping up with your books, uh, knowing your point of difference, your point of reference. <laughs> See, I can't talk today. I'm going to leave it anyway so you can laugh. <laughs> so anyhow, you need to know your point of reference so that you can take the necessary steps for your success. Um, I would like to know um, what are the things you're doing in order to go through those challenging times? Where, you know, how, what kind of adjustments have you made? And um, and if you need us to cover a different subject, uh, go ahead and put down below. I want to help you, and I want to know if these videos that I'm putting out there, if it's making a difference, if if I'm helping you. And I love to hear, that's my biggest reward. I love to hear from from my viewers. And t today I, I had a good, a good message, made all the difference. <laughs> um, one of my viewers just was just struggling with Square. And she watched one of the videos, had a few questions. And then she watched a second video and answered her questions. And, and she was so grateful. And I'm, I'm, it made me happy. <laughs> it made me super happy. All right. So, so let me know. Let me know <laughs> if there is anything you'd like us to cover. And until next time, keep on smiling.